Chairman convene general session at 6 p.m. Roll call, please. Trustee Dodd? Here. Trustee Leonard? Here. Trustee Perkis? Here. Trustee Salcedo? Here. Trustee Vanderbilt? Here. Can you please stand for the flag salute? seven students a month and seven students a year. Additionally, the Chamber has ordered over $300,000 in scholarships for seven students a year over that period of time due to the generosity of our business partners because we have a great community. This year, as we embark on our 28th year of recognition, Our students and staff have the right to be safe and secure in their persons. While most likely focusing on resolutions, I definitely think we cannot have resolutions without adequate accountability. And speaking um, on behalf of the case of, not on behalf of the case, but regarding the case of Yashua Richardson, is there a third party investigation happening? Is there accountability at the school level? What are we telling our children? I have a son who attends an elementary um, here in Lake Elsinore Unified School District. How do we hold parents accountable? How do we hold teachers accountable? What do we tell our children? How can we prevent some of these things? We demand and request, of course, not only an investigation within the Unified School District, also third party investigation. Children who want to speak and get their word out should be taken seriously. As someone else spoke in earlier, kids are afraid. And it is their right, and it is our rights as parents, advocates for our children to demand accountability. What do we say to our children? What is mandated? Is there literature on the district's website, not just in regards to inclement weather? Um, how do we handle special requests for weather? What do we do? Is the district's website adequate with this sort of information? In regards to accountability, who do we direct and escalate to if we have questions in regards to accountability? If we have special requests for our children not to participate in said activities? Again, it is our rights, not only in regards to the California State Constitution, but our rights as parents and people in general. Children cannot usually speak up for themselves. It is up to you, the board members, um, to do so. You place them in a position of authority, and we definitely respect your authority. And in that regard, we ask for the same respect and accountability on our end, too. Thank you. Have a good night. Can I have you say and spell your first and last name, please? Um, yes, my name is Brian Wilson. Um, do I need to spell it out? B-R-I-A-N, last name is Wilson, W-I-L-S-O-N. And can you tell me what we are doing in the city of Lake Elsinore to now? Um, the reason why we're here is um, we are bringing our issues to the Board of Education um, to express to them our, our, our outrage, our, our heartfelt pain um, about the death of that surrounds uh, uh, Yeshua Robinson. Um, Yeshua Robinson was a child that, that died um, at, at, a middle, at Canyon Lake Middle School um, from heat exhaust, exhaustion. He requested that he wanted to get water throughout that, and they were out there doing PE drills um, running around the, uh, around the, uh, the, the campus. Um, the, the, the temperature that day was over 104 degrees, and, um, and him requesting he he basically passed away or died from heat exhaustion. And like I said, we are outraged by that. Um, the mother um, and the parents, or both the parents, uh, Eric and Janae uh, Robinson, have uh, supported our community uh, for years. Um, uh, the, Janae is a teacher, um, and she works with a number of organizations, primarily to service the community and take care of the kids in this community. And we just want the right thing to happen for them and uh, for them to be consoled and 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 um, and uh, dealt with through this through this painful time for them. 
And what would you like to see change? What are you? What would you like to see happen due to this incident that took place? I mean, the big thing is number one. First of all, there needs to be an investigation done, so that the proper things are put in perspective on who's responsible, so they can fix those type of problems that take place. Secondly. There needs to be something to institute. On the, we're from the East Coast. On the East Coast, they have snow days when things are where there's there's hazard present, um, or people can pack, make uh, uh, bad decisions. Um, in our area, based off of climate and the, when the temperatures get high, we're saying, hey, maybe they need to have a Sunday, or somebody needs to do something so that they that the institute that the kids don't have to go to school when the temperatures are high. Why should we have to leave our kids in an environment that? Um, that it can be de uh, detrimental to their health. Um, so we're asking, um, number one, that there's an investigation done. We're asking that um, that they potentially come up with some alternative to uh, the kids having to do something other than be sub subjected to being in a, in a ridiculously hot temperature. Thanks.